Good morning, New York traders. Well, well, well. Bobby Rubin must be rolling over. I guess not in his graves. He's still, still alive, but... It's been a long time since we've seen the Treasury Secretary of the United States openly say we want a weaker dollar. But this is what we got today, and the market cooperated. Let's talk dollar yen first because we were short that stuff. We're now through this trend line. Uh, we're still on the tactical trade from the short side. You want to be core short uh, and then try and sell rallies, the 15, 25, 30 point rallies. Looking for further downside now in dollar yen. Um, that worked out pretty well. Aussie yen, not so much. We've really done nothing today. We're marginally higher from where we opened. We opened around 15, now we're at 35. We're still sellers of this because of this candle here, this bearish engulfing candle. It's been a slow grind. Um, not a lot of love there, but we're still short, and we're just going to be patient with that. Biggest winners and losers today. Obviously, the biggest loser is the dollar. Cable looks like the biggest winner on a percentage basis. Maybe not, but 141.18. Wow. That's all I can say about that. Let's, let's erase some of these trend lines now and just recognize that this is just yowza. I hesitate to say this looks like a turn bar here on the hourlies last hour, but God knows. Uh, we ramped through uh, 140.50, which was the overnight high, and we have never looked back since. Trading 91 now. Not really sure. No trade in sterling here, but just quite a move. Got a lot of people with their pants down, I think. Dollar Swiss, uh, we're actually we're actually dipping our toe into longs here in front of the figure. Um, nothing, nothing crazy, nothing sizable. Sort of social amounts. Just looks a little bit overextended. Uh, and this yield differentiation has to come into play at some point. We are certainly not betting any portion of the ranch on this, but we are sticking our nose into the dollar swiss longs Aussie just crushed us really we got out of 32 which was which was painful at the time but looks like it was a good good place um, high has been 67 this, uh, this doesn't look right to me the view at Privateer here is we're having a go we're about to enter into a global trade war. Asia is going to take the heat. Uh, Asia is going to take most of the heat on this war, and so this should be bad for Aussie. Uh, in particular, it should be bad for Aussie yen. This certainly has not played out today in Aussie dollar, and the dollar side of it is is, is driving a lot of it. So let's. Let's not beat ourselves up too badly. It's hard to it's hard to fade Aussie when the US Treasury Secretary is telling the world to sell his own currency. Anyway, going forward, what do we got today? I don't really know from here, I gotta say. Not much going on as far as interesting numbers or releases. We could get some NAFTA headlines. Um but in general we're just going to trade this dollar yen on the short side. A little bit of dollar Swiss on the long side. And hold our core short Aussie yen. And we wait. And we wait and we lurk. And we wait because ECB is tomorrow. And this will be an interesting day for Euro and all of the Euro crosses. That's all we got for now. I will see you guys at European Open. Ciao.